What is going on T to the M to the I D D and I have another video for y'all today something really quick short simple um, I had the DJI pocket too and one thing that I was really excited about at first was the 64 megapixel uh, sensor inside of the DJI pocket 2 for the photography so that kind of led me to wonder what does the images from this look like so you know I know no one will probably compare this but I mean I have it why not let's just see what it does so I wanted to compare this to my Nikon D850 which is the best camera that I have in terms of megapixels so what I did was I didn't worry about the focal length or anything like that I just wanted to test it inside of harsh lighting conditions outside and see since it's complex which camera could adjust the best and see how the images look so um, this is automatic so what I did was on my D Nikon 850 I put it in automatic mode so that the settings would adjust themselves instead of shooting the manual so that there's kind of a similar playing field in terms of capturing the image instead of putting it in manual and letting me adjust the camera settings for a better exposure so i let this camera expose itself and also let the DJI Pocket 2 expose itself. So let's go. Oh man. That's not good. So let's go into the actual footage and check out what these cameras did in harsh lighting conditions. All right, so first up is the DJI Pocket 2 and it has 64 megapixels. So as you can see, I'm just out using natural light, um, some harsh light coming in from the right side. I just really wanted to see what this 64 megapixel camera was able to do. And so this is really a question to you all. Would you use this for camera functionality given its quality here? The second we have is the Nikon D850. And keep in mind, this is not really a full throttle comparison. Of course, we know the DSLR is going to be the better choice, but I did want something to compare the 64 megapixel camera to at least. So this is the closest thing I have at 45.7 megapixels. And I'm seeing the quality that I'm actually able to obtain with my Nikon camera versus the DJI and so once I'm putting these images side by side I want to look at the picture profiles and what I'm immediately noticing is the colors are different with the Nikon a little bit more depth there's also you can see that just the images overall look a, a lot more crisp even in a natural state so let me know would you use this or not t to them to the idd peace